guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marisa and I'm here on YouTube to talk about all things curly hair related. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and feel free to leave a comment. I love chatting with you guys. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Today's video is all about winter curly hair care. And you might find that the products that work for you great in the summer suddenly don't work for you in the winter and vice versa. The really cold temperatures can dry out your hair not only that, but having central heating on inside the house, that is also very drying to your skin and to your hair. So really in the winter, oftentimes you need to give your hair a little bit extra moisture and a little bit more TLC. But as with anything else, how much extra moisture you need to give it is going to depend on your hair. So you might find a tiny tweak is enough in the winter or you might find that you need to completely change your entire lineup and how you treat your hair. But today we're going to look at some ways that you might be able to help your curls in winter, a few products, a few techniques and a few awesome accessories that can help too. So first of all, products. Deep conditioning is something that's really going to get more moisture into your hair and kind of combat the dryness that comes with the winter months. So I thought I'd show you a couple of my favourites. Well, I love the Naughty to the Rescue mask. It's moisturising and protein free but it's very lightweight so it doesn't weigh your hair down. You can just leave this on for five minutes or you could leave it on up to an hour. It's completely up to you. Obviously the longer you leave it the more of a deeper moisture treatment that's going to give you. Another deep conditioner that I love is the Curlsmith Hydro Cream Soothing Mask and it's the blue label which means it's in the Curlsmith scalp line which means it's specifically formulated to keep your scalp balanced which is amazing um, but it's such a fabulous mask it's really moisturizing but again not super heavy as with all Curlsmith products it smells amazing. <sighs> Now, whenever I deep condition, which to be honest isn't very often because my hair tends to be on the side of needing protein and not needing all that much moisture, but whenever I do deep condition, I do what some people refer to as a dirty deep condition. It can also be called a pre-poo. And that means that I actually do my deep conditioner before I wash my hair, which I know can sound a little bit crazy if you're used to doing your deep conditioner after you wash your hair, but I'll tell you why. Like I said, my hair is fine and quite easily weighed down. And I've always found that if I deep condition after I wash my hair, although I rinse the deep conditioner out and then do the rest of my wash day, it's like it just continues to weigh my hair down until I wash again. So to combat that, I do the deep conditioning treatment on just dirty wet hair. I'll just wet my hair over the side of the bath, put my treatment on and then go about my day. And then I'll just later on go in the shower rinse it, wash it and do the rest of my routine and it works wonders for me. So if you're someone who finds that deep conditioning makes your hair feel weighed down or limp or just not great, then try dirty deep conditioning because it is a bit of a game changer. I do realise by the way that I use the term game changer far too much. I need new words. <laughs> a way that you can really step up your treatments is with a heat cap. Now this is my heat cap and this is a hot head from Thermal Hair Care and look at that awesome comic book pattern. I look, I think it looks so cool and it's got the fleece lining and it's full of flaxseed and you pop it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and it gets lovely and toasty and warm and then you'd put on your treatment on your hair, put on a shower cap and then put this over the top and basically it works like a little sauna for your hair and the heat will help to open up the cuticles of your hair, especially good if you have low porosity hair, because low porosity hair, the cuticles are laying quite flat. The heat from a heat cap will open those cuticles and let the moisture in, which is essential. If you don't have a heat cap and you don't want to get one, you can use a warm towel or you could, you could put a shower cap on and then from a distance hold your hair dryer and point that at your hair and it will do the same job. But there's something just ever so luxurious about the feel of a heat cap. I do love it. Something else you can do for extra moisture is to use a leave-in conditioner. Now you might use a leave-in conditioner already or maybe you don't, but um, what you might want to do is use a little bit more if you already use one or perhaps choose a slightly richer, more moisturising leave-in conditioner. So I just picked up an example of a great leave-in conditioner here, which is the Trilux Untie the Knot. So my normal go-to leave-in conditioner is the Curl Keeper, uh, the red bottle I've showed you many times, the Curl Keeper leave-in conditioner. It's very lightweight 
and very proteiny, and that's why my hair loves it. But if you're looking for extra moisture, then this one is great. It does have some protein in as well, um, but it's really, really moisturizing and just a great leave-in conditioner, and it smells. I know I keep going on about smells today, but it smells like cinnamon and just, oh, it's so gorgeous. But that's a really great leave-in conditioner if you want a little bit of extra moisture. Those are the products that can help, but there are other things that can help too. A lot of you might find that your hair underneath here gets a lot more tangled in the winter. One of the reasons for that is because we wear a lot more jackets, cardigans, um, scarves and coats, and all of those sit under the hair and will be rubbing at your hair as you move. And that can really, really kind of agitate the hairs and cause them to get tangled under there. So there are a few things you can do. One of the simplest ones is just to tie your hair up. If you're going to be wearing a coat, you know, when you go out, just pop it up in a pineapple. I've got a silk scrunchie. So then all that hair is obviously out of the way of the scarves and the coats and anything else that's, you know, going to be rubbing against it and causing tangling and breakage. So that's a really, really simple way to help. You could also use a silk or a satin scarf instead of like a thick woolly scarf. It's maybe not going to be as warm, um, but that's going to protect the underneath of your hair. Something else which can be absolutely amazing in the winter is a satin or silk lined hat. Now I have a selection of satin lined hats here to show you from three different brands and I want to show you each one. Each one of the brands has got um, a unique selling point, something that I feel is really, really good about them. So I'm going to show you them all and then that gives you some options. So I'm going to show you these brands in the order that I received them. None of this is sponsored, but these were gifted to me. And the first satin lined hat I ever tried was from Curly and Kind. Sakshi um, owns the business, Curly and Kind, and she is a complete sweetheart. I absolutely love her. And she was the first person that I ever came into contact with that had designed a satin lined hat, especially for curly haired people. And hers have a little extra special twist as well, which I will show you in a moment. So this is the first one I ever got. I really love it. I'm gonna pop it on and show you. But I really, really love this hat. It's so, so comfortable. And of course being satin lined, it's not gonna to do too much damage to your hair underneath. Now the special thing about curly and kind hats is if you turn them inside out, you'll see they have buttons and the pom-poms have elastic that ties around the buttons and then you can take the pom-pom off. Now you take the pom-pom off for two reasons. The first reason is that you can try a different pom-pom. Here's a few that I have. So let's say I wanted to go red pom-pom today, then I would just pop the red pom-pom on and just get the elastic loops tie them around the buttons and there you are, good to go. Another reason why you can take the pom-pom off is because you can actually wear this hat with your pineapple at the top. So I'm gonna pop my hair back up into a pineapple and then what I tend to do is put my hand through the top of the hat, grab my pineapple and pull my hair through the hole and then pull the hat down like that. <laughs> Which is so cute as well. So I just think that was absolutely ingenious. There are two ways to wear this hat. So I have two other colours in the curly and kind hat. I have my mustard hat, which I absolutely love. And I have my new red hat. So the red hat came with <laughs> very festive pom-poms. And I really love the colour red, this colour red. It's really, really lovely, vibrant, bright red. And I love it with the red pom-pom too. The second brand of satin lined hat that I received was from About the Curl and this is my About the Curl satin lined hat. It's got this lovely peachy satin lining. What I like about this hat is the shape of it. So it's it's more of a kind of upright beanie hat if that makes sense. Is this a beanie? I always get confused what the different hats are. The pom-pom sits kind of more on the top of my head, which I really like. Um, it's a very simple knitted pattern. It's really, really fashionable and trendy right now. Um, so that's that one, it's really lovely. I think, so this one is not um, a detachable pom-pom, but I do think that About the Curl do have hats which have detachable pom-poms. And then last but not least, I just got this satin lined hat last week and it's the brand new one from Only Curls London. And what I love about this one is this pom-pom, oh my goodness, 
this makes me happy <laughs> and also how slouchy and stretchy and soft this hat is really really soft and I absolutely love how this hat looks on it's so cute it really is and I just love this pom-pom and this is extremely extremely comfortable this hat and the one thing that this hat has going for it even more than the others is the fact that it's the only one that does not leave any ridge marks on my forehead even after wearing it for a few hours so I did wear it at the weekend all day almost like quite a few hours I was out of the house and it was super comfortable my head did not itch at all and when I took it off it had no marks on my forehead so marks on my forehead from a hat is absolutely not a deal breaker as far as I'm concerned it doesn't bother me at all but I did love that this one didn't leave any ridges if you have a small head then this is probably going to be miles too big I mean you can see the size difference the about the curl hat and the only curls London hat um, and it's just you know it's a more slouchy style but the only thing I did find was it did slip down over my eyes a little bit because it is quite large so great if you have a large head Hey, Editing Marisa here, just letting you know that I spoke to Only Curls and they actually confirmed that when they next release a batch of these hats, they're going to have two sizes. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you do have a small head. As always, let me know if you have any questions and um, let me know if there's anything else that you like to do for your hair in the winter that helps it just, you know, stay more moisturised. And do you find that you need to change up your lineups? From summer to winter I just find that really fascinating how everyone's hair reacts so let me know in the comments if that's something that you do have to do thank you so much for being here and please give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me as always I'll link everything in the description box and yeah I hope you have a fabulous day thanks for being here and I'll see you soon bye <laughs>